Some don't know how to handle it. Always reaching out in vain. Just taking the things never happen. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing, baby. Cause I'll be standing on the side when you check it out. Say you stylize the track. And that here it is. Let's go other places. Just don't you feel too bad when you get smoothed by filing faces. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing, baby. Cause I'll be standing on the side when you check it. Ah, and when you get okay, okay, that's enough, that's enough, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, beautiful, beautiful family, YouTube subscribers, and my wonderful Facebook family. I'm sorry, Facebook. I know I'm not on there as much as I would like to be because I just really, really feel that the FBI just love this parking on Facebook and doing considerable damage to um, people's accounts and whatnot and getting them flagged and kicked off and all that. So that's probably why I haven't been on there much, you know, and just posting a few things. But Come on over here. I'm I'm more on YouTube, basically, I think. And anyway, with that being said, I love y'all just as much and all the same. Y'all, this I read an article that disturbed me. And this is like really dedicated to all the content creators and all the folks out there to let y'all know just how they want us to capitulate and not have our own voices. And just like um Wow, just like when Hitler did his thing, the propaganda machine, the um, constant, constant vigilant behavior on your words and how you express yourself, and uh, I just call them what the the uh, language police have come out and they look for people that have propaganda. Well, you just heard the FBI that contradicted itself. Um, at first, it said the biggest threat to, you know, was pretty much there was a lot of F, um, uh, um, you know what I'm saying, y'all. There was a lot of white supremacists that took over, that were infiltrated the police departments. And then the next thing you know, all of a sudden, now, when Donald Trump is the president, the biggest threat is black extremists. You see how they start the little, well, this propaganda has been going on since we've been here. Okay, with them uh, making us the black sheep of the family, pretty much. The uh, But let me read this article. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling on because I couldn't find it. But I think this is very important. Again, for all the bloggers out there and, and those of us who believe in free speech, basically. The 10-year-old daughter of Vietnamese dissonant blogger, Mush Mother Mushroom, that's what she calls herself, has written a letter to the First Lady Melania to push for her mother's release from prison ahead of Donald Trump's visit to the communist nation next month. The girl's mother, whose real name is Nguyen Nok, is among more than two dozen Vietnamese who have been jailed as part of a sweeping crackdown on dissonance on the past over the past year. Analysts say that the authoritarian regime has been emboldened by the rise of Donald Trump, who is seen as taking a softer approach on human rights. The handwritten letter by the woman's daughter, whose name I'm just going to nickname, they said her nickname is Mushroom, is the root of her mother's pen name. So she it comes ahead of the America's president's 
first official visit to Vietnam for that APEC meeting that they get ready to have in November. The girl's letter goes to say, please help my family reunite because I know my mother did nothing wrong. 10 year old baby Nugent wrote in the note posted in her grandmother's Facebook page on Thursday. Lan said it was the fourth, it was the fourth letter the girl has pinned to the first lady who was bestowed. Um, her mother was bestowed with the woman of the courage award in March. The move riled Hanoi, though, who said it was not appropriate and of no benefit for the development of relationships between the two countries. So then the grandmother said, I told my granddaughter that if Mrs. Trump, that told my granddaughter that Mrs. Trump is very busy, her assistant might read the letter, but she might not. So we can only hope. Quinn, this is the, the, the lady now, the mama. I know I'm mixing you guys up with all these names because I can't pronounce them, uh, was handed a 10-year sentence, a 10-year prison sentence in June on charges of spreading anti-state propaganda through Facebook posts. And her posts only always touch on politics and environmental issues. Let me repeat that. This woman was sentenced to a 10-year prison sentence in June on charges of spreading anti-state propaganda through Facebook posts that touched on politics and environmental issues. She was given a 10-year sentence for that. The 37-year-old is one of Vietnamese most vocal critics pinning regular blog posts on the authoritarian country's human rights record, all the deaths in police custody, and the handling of a toxic leak that killed tons and tons keep a uh, fish last year. So just so you know, this death in police custody, you know, it's all over the world. And anybody that has anything to do with America or his policies and his thoughts and anything, they probably carry the same mindset. The United States, Britain, and European Union have all, though, called for her release. Trump's first visit as president to the Southeast Asian country will take him to the APEC summit in Da Nang um, and onwards to Hanoi for meetings with Vietnamese President Tran Dai Quang and other senior leaders. It is part of a wider Asian tour which will see the American leader visit Japan, South Korea, China, and the Philippines. Human Rights Watch say at least 28 people have been arrested on dubious internet charges over the past year. And it has called foreign governments to put pressure on Vietnamese dismal, dismal rights record. And we hope that, that they hope that that comes up at this APEC meeting. Deep. Insane. Good luck to you, but I don't think Melania. This, I mean, I could be wrong. I doubt it, but I think Melania is just arm candy, window dressing, honey. And I don't think really she can do anything, or she would even dare say anything to her husband concerning your mom. Because Donald Trump has no empathy. And of course, I don't think she wields enough power in his life. Honestly, to me, I don't think. Just from the outside looking in, could be wrong. Just my opinion. That he's going to listen to a damn thing that she says. If anything, she needs to go sit down somewhere. Ivanka pretty much told you what the relationship was like with Donald Trump. So um, it's definitely not an equal opportunity relationship. And I don't really think, and I hate to be disrespectful to you, honey. I just, I wish there was another way. But you keep that pressure and good luck to you. I don't want to kill your hopes, but good luck to you. Good luck. It's like, to me, talking to a brick. 
poor thing. Her mother's got 10 years in jail on an internet post. I could just imagine what would happen to my daughter or my grandbaby. They couldn't see me for a year. Uh, 10 years, I'm locked up because of this, was what I say over the internet. Oh, my God. And my family and all that. Isn't that sick? Dancing with the devil. Dancing with the devil. That's what they say about the internet. So anyway, let me leave this right here because I'm going to try to come back in a minute. Um, what You know, the Dalai Lama, he said that, uh, speaking of uh, Asian, he said that um, he doesn't understand. As a matter of fact, let him speak for himself. Let me see if I can get this turned up. Oh, Yanni, you got me definitely conscious about the volume. So I got you. <laughs> Sorry. The Dalai Lama is well, I say pink is Now, y'all think that the Dalai Lama can meet with Donald Trump and would that do any good? He will suck all the air out. <laughs> Never mind. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And I didn't mean to be disrespectful to anybody's belief system or anything. I just want y'all to know that this personality disordered man and um, his wife, in my opinion, are the worst example that America has to represent a leader of a free world for a country that should be as advanced as we claim to be. That's just my opinion, right? Like what you hear, please subscribe and share. I'm going to see you next time in the mental health. Bye-bye.